again. And there it is. That's the result. 10-4 for Canterbury. Tuck flicked it out the back for Thomas. Langmack showed the ball. Still stands, still going Langmack. Standing now for the pass with Dunn. He took it. Looking back on the inside, he can't get it away. Cronulla in trouble if Canterbury shipped it left and quickly. Bad pass from the dummy half area. Tuck picks it up, straightens up. Off hands it for Langmack. Cronulla falling off tackles. They've got numbers here. Oh, well, it's gone astray again. It's still play on, says Annesley. Back for Phelps. They seem to lose a great opportunity there. Canterbury Thomas quickly out of dummy half to pass for Dunn. He pushes it out the back. Hagen quickly out the Phelps stands. Lamb gets it out. Nissen must score if he can get out to the outside. Pass the ball. Well, he had an opportunity. He should have passed to Robin Thorne and it would have been a try. Well, a crazy bit of football there. But gee whiz, folks, there back to land. The ball had gone through seven or eight passes before it got to this stage. Here's Nissen setting off, going for it really hard. And across comes Wilson, overruns him, and uh, down goes Nissen Hurt. Boy, gee, that was a crazy bit of football. Well, Thorne wasn't in shot there on the replay, but he was certainly just outside Nissen, who should have passed to him. Would have put Cronulla well and truly on the rack at half-time. We've got a minute 